Uh, well, we are in Japan a little bit, but uh, without Gina, I wouldn't be here today. So uh, I'm really grateful to her. Uh, I started out um, fighting uh, in uh, in the ring for Shuto when I was 18 years old, and then. Uh, when I was 19 years old and I just started to uh, go to college, then all of a sudden I got a phone call if I would, uh, would like to fight in Japan. I never thought that would happen. And uh, I made quite an impressive fight at that, uh, that time. And then they asked me to come back the week after that and I won a tournament. It was quite a big tournament. And, uh, yeah, Japan is like, uh, you cannot compare to anything. It's such an amazing country and uh, the people are so... Um, so, so into fighting, it's, it's completely different than I'm from the Netherlands and, uh, and it, uh, people from the Netherlands are, are used to uh, stand-up fights and they do not understand the ground fight like they do here in Chicago. And I was really amazed by the audience, people really got the, you know, the techniques and everything and uh, in Japan it's exactly the same, uh, it's the same way. Well, uh, my trainer is Martijn Jong and uh, he's also the president of Shuto uh, Europe and he is a former fighter himself and uh, he's got also, if I'm correct, correct, I don't know if sure, he's, he's got the second degree in Jiu Jitsu as well and uh, I learned all the techniques from him but he's also an amazing stand-up fighter and uh, that makes me quite complete. Well, I've got a four or five deal, so uh, um, I don't know for sure, but Scott, uh, if I'm correct, Scott is thinking about uh, uh, me and uh, Cyborg uh, for uh, Miami the 30th of January, so uh, I hope that happens. It would be great. I think pretty good because uh, my stand-up, I've got a good stand-up, and um, I don't know exactly what happened this tonight but I thought I, I knocked her down and then she fell and got my leg and I wanted to finish it and I fell over and all. so and, and Sarah was also good at, uh, at the ground she, she did ADCC but I also performed twice in uh, ADCC so yeah, I will be I think it will be a hell of a fight well, I was I was highly frustrated <laughs> and I was frustrated for two years <laughs> so uh, yeah I knew I would win I never say that I've lied before the fight but uh, I was very confident and I know why I didn't lose the first fight I made her tap in the cage and it's a long, to cut a long story short uh, she did win and I don't think you should complain afterwards because otherwise you have to knock someone out but uh, I, I was really confident this time and I'm, I'm glad I'm, I finished in such a short uh, uh, time.